This week has been one of the best weeks that I've had all year. And the reason why is because I have been doing different practices and trying different things to see what will give me more mental clarity. So I wanna share with you some of my findings here. So first, let's talk about social media. So I am not about to get on here and change social media. If you're seeing this right now, you are watching it from social media. We're connected via social media. You've seen my work somewhere, whether you follow or you're just on an explore page and you were like, hey, let me check this out. So first, I think as a creative, right? Like when I say creative, I mean, as an individual whose job is in the creative sphere, I'm an author, I'm a keynote speaker. And so I feel like as a creative, one of the best tools that we have is social media, because previously back in the day, there was always a gatekeeper and the gatekeepers, they controlled whether your book got written, uh, whether you got to speak on a, a particular stage, they controlled uh, who could see your content, who could see your ideas. Now, if you think about that for a second, I mean, we know that there was a lot of great creatives who were never given an opportunity because maybe they didn't look like the people who were in control or maybe they didn't fit the narrative of the people who were in control. So now when it comes to social media, we get to choose. We get to choose like, man, that song sounds good or, you know, that person can really dance well. Like I support them or that author. I love that author's work like the gatekeepers. They're still gatekeepers. Even social media itself is a gatekeeper. I like to believe that it's a little bit more open than say it was 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 years ago. OK, and I don't say that as if social media is perfect. OK, I, I see the flaws in social media, just like I'm sure you do. What I wanted to examine, though, this tool, is this tool using me or am I using the tool? And that's the very first question that I have for you. When you log into social media, do you have a purpose? Do you have an intention? Do you even have boundaries or are you just on social media? Do you have notifications on your phone for your social media? So every single time something happens in the social media world, you get a ping, you get a dopamine hit. I'm not telling you that's wrong. I'm just asking you what your relationship is with this tool. So I'm going to ask you the question again. Are you using the tool or is the tool using you? Comment below on that and let me know. Are you using the tool or is the tool using you? If the answer to the question is, yes, you know what? The tool is using me. What I want you to do is no shame, no putting yourself down. Just simply use that answer for self-awareness. It's just information. Just use it for data. Now, as a scientist of your own life, now you know like you have that data like, wow, okay. You know what? At this moment, if I'm honest, the tool of social media is using me and I'm not I'm not using it. Cool. No problem. We're not putting ourselves down over here. We're not using shame. We're not doing any of that. We're, we're just using self-awareness to figure out how we can raise our vibration, free our energy and live our, our most healthiest life. So if you answer the question, yeah, social media is a tool and I use it. You're good to go. But if you answer the question, and you're like, no, I think if I'm being honest, social media is using me. All right. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to write out. I want you to write it out. And then after you write it out, I want you to say it. I want you to write out what are your boundaries with social media, right? So you could put boundaries around how many apps you have. You could put boundaries around when you're using it. You could put boundaries around uh, the duration throughout the day. Hey, I got 20 minutes or I have an hour. You could put whatever boundaries feel appropriate. Right. First, I want you to figure out what your boundaries need to be with social media. Now, you may have to experiment with this. Now, for the people who are like, oh, well, I use social media for business. I use social media for business, too. And I also did this experiment that I'm giving you. And I can tell you that my mental clarity has went through the roof. My, cl my clarity has been through the roof. My creativity is through the roof. My happiness is through the roof because I had to do this experiment. So the very first thing I want you to do is investigate your boundaries. The very second thing I want you to do is to investigate your intention. What is my intention? Now, we're not using shame. If your intention is I want to pick up social media because I want to be entertained for 20 minutes while I'm waiting for my bus to pick me up or while I'm waiting for my gym class to start, I'm not here to shame it. I'm not here to judge it. The only thing I want you to do is to be completely aware of what you're choosing because the world that we live in, it makes us unconscious. It makes us unaware of what's happening. And we just end up going with these flows and just going with these patterns and going with these systems. And when I'm saying free your energy, what I'm saying is you need to be self aware of every single thing that you're choosing or that you're not choosing. So when it comes to social media, I just want you to I just want you to know 
what is my intention with this tool? Oh, my intention is to share my business. My intention is to stay in touch with friends and family. My intention is to be inspired from other creators. My intention is to keep up to date with news or sports. My intention is to see all the beautiful photography that's on this app. My intention is to keep up with mental wellness experts because I want them talking that good talk into me every day. And I want to, you know, my intention is to keep up with quotes, whatever it is. My intention is to keep up with celebrities. I'm not here to judge you. I'm not here to shame you. I'm not here to put you down. My only question for you is, what are your boundaries and what is your intention? If you answer those two questions, I feel like your relationship with the tool will, will feel much better for you. I did this myself, right? I did this myself. Again, I use social media for work. I'm never here to shame it. I think it's been a great tool. It's been one of the, the most uh, powerful tools for me to connect with community, uh, to connect with companies that I wanna work with, to brands that I wanna work with, meeting friends, uh, partners, uh, just everything. Staying in touch with family, I think it's been great for me personally because I've had an intention from day one. I've always had an intention from day one. And what I personally have had to do is I've had to re-engage and figure out, okay, what is my intention now in this moment? And what are my boundaries now? What feels good to me now in this moment? So I hope that, I hope that practice works for you. Um, the consequence of me doing that practice, I feel much better. I feel so much better. I feel like I use the tool. The tool does not use me. I'm not addicted. I don't have any of the, the notifications on my phone, so I don't get them. And you know, I wanna talk about this for a second before we go. As a creator, when you're first starting out, I feel like when you're first starting your brand or first starting your business or first starting like your page or you're first starting your website, there's a lot of energy, right? There's a lot of energy. You're willing to stay up late at night to work on your website, to, to you know, make this, this client happy, to edit these photos, like whatever you're doing. Um, there's a lot of energy and because of that energy, you don't necessarily have boundaries. And so you just go and go and go and you're grinding and you're pushing and you're trying to create and you're like, man, I got this idea and this idea and I want to do this and that. And that's all great. But let me tell you, I'm 10 years in uh, to this business that I'm in right now. And the energy that I had at the first two years is not the energy I have now. What happens is you will evolve and your evolution is going to require you to have boundaries. It's going to require you to investigate the relationship. It's going to require you to be more intentional with where you're putting your time and your energy investments. So if you're at the very, very start and someone gives you the advice of like, you got to get up and you got to grind and stay up late, you know, bust your ass. Like, you know what? I agree with that, especially at the beginning because there's more energy there. There's more freshness there. There's more rawness there. There's, I would even say, um, I can't necessarily say more passion, but I would say the, the passion that exists, I mean, when you're doing something new, is just exciting. But then as you start to be invested in something like, you know, your brand, your business, uh, your ideas, things of these natures, as you start to be invested in it over time, I'm not saying that the passion dies because who I can't judge that. But what I'm saying is there's not necessarily as much energy for all of the things, right? You may have the same amount of energy, but it may be for a few specific components. So that's why we have to continue to investigate our relationship and figure out, okay, these two questions, what do my boundaries look like with this? And what is my intention with this? If you answer those two questions, that will bring you the, the clarity. That will bring you the clarity that you need. Now, if this is your first time seeing me, my name is Sylvester McNutt III. I'm the best-selling author of eight books. I'm an emotional wellness expert on the emotional wellness app, Mind. And my whole purpose is to figure out how we can live a holistic life, how we can live a healthy life, how we can live a purposeful uh, and meaningful life. And with that being said, thank you for watching this video and I hope you continue to free your energy.